A David versus Goliath trial began in Sydney today. Indonesian seaweed farmers have launched a $200 million federal court class action against a major oil company, alleging their livelihoods were destroyed by Australia's worst oil spill. A date in court, 10 years in the making. Indonesian seaweed farmer Daniel Sander flanked by his legal team as they seek compensation for the destruction of their crops after an oil spill. Just because they live in Indonesia, just because they're not powerful, doesn't mean they shouldn't be compensated. The Montara oil rig exploded on August 21st, 2009 in Australian waters, 250 kilometres from the West Australian coast and a similar distance southeast of Indonesia's Roti Island. Thousands of barrels of oil spewed into the Timor Sea for more than 70 days before being brought under control. Mr Sander is one of 15,000 seaweed farmers who say oil company PTTEP Australasia must be held accountable. And we'll be trying to prove that the company was not only negligent, but that the oil destroyed the industry that was in Indonesia, in Roti Island and Kupang, where people were doing well for the first time ever. A fundamental aspect of this case to be argued is how far the oil spread in the days, weeks and months after the Montara blowout. Lawyers for the Indonesian seaweed farmers admit no thorough scientific measurements were made at the time and so eyewitness testimony will be heavily relied on. PTTEP Australasia and its Thai parent company have always accepted responsibility for the Montara explosion but their official stance is that the closest the oil and the sludge got to the Indonesian coastline was 94 kilometres. In an earlier statement, it said there's strong evidence that suggests the decline in seaweed production was caused by environmental factors unrelated to the spill. Indonesia has long agitated for action from the Australian government on the case and has dispatched an official delegation. We want to watch, uh, actually, the press action process is now being in a... Uh, low courts here in, 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 in Sydney. The trial is expected to run 10 weeks. Darren Mara, SBS World News.